Hey everyone, this is Manly Badassero, and welcome back to Lorelei. Previously, we completed Chapter One, which ended up in a very kind of cliffhangery, bad way. My first job. I can do this. But I better hurry if I want to catch the bus and get there on time. So it looks like we're in a flashback. Hey, what's up? Don't wait for me! Wait. Wait, I have it. Don't. I mean, wait for me. Hey. Dang it. Stupid bus. That's what happens when I trip over my words. Not a terrible walk, it seems. I can save some time if I cut through this alleyway. I mean, we have to kind of cut through this alleyway. We have not much of a choice. We live in a 2D world. Look at those random splotches of red. Bark. Real blocked in. Hey, move your car, mate. Please. Twat. Just jump the van. Bob won't care. Ugh. Take the fish. I'm not picking it up with my bare hands. Pick up the fish with your bare hands. Cat. Oh, hey there, kitty cat. What were you doing in that stinking old bin? Meow, meow. Rummish. What we got here? Plastic bag. Stop barking. Boxes. Nothing in them. Like my soul. Are we gonna use a, a cucumber with Why the would dog? Someone throw away a perfectly good cucumber. Fish. That's not gonna work. I mean, here. Hmm. The cat ate his fish, but I achieved absolutely nothing. We we helped feed a cat. It's about the journey that counts. Look, see, karma plus one. Shoo! <laughs> cucumber and bin. Cat, you want a Should cucumber? Put it somewhere the cat won't see straight away. common knowledge that cats are scared of cucumbers, right? No. Maybe? I, I've never heard of that. Put it here, right behind him. God, the bloom is so bad, I can barely see. Oh. Oh. What's this behind you, mate? Oh god, it's a CGI cat.
Oh, whoops. What do you just hate when you're on your way to work and you somehow enter some kind of weird psychological afterlife? Just really ruins your day. Got a hair dryer. Chains. But why? I could plug something in here. A hair dryer? I could never take a bath in it again. Are we supposed to shock herself? Not after seeing Mom hanging on. It's this way. I feel like we're gonna meet the Queen of Maggots pretty soon. Now, I thought Lorelai was connected to her. Uh, maybe we'll find out about that or something. Maybe it's some weird thing with her dual existence. Yep, here it is. I can't explain why, but I feel like whatever's behind this gate is calling me. <sighs> it's bloody locked. Of course it is. Fell down. Man, that solves a problem. Let's go. Got a key. It's just a creepy mask. Uh, of course, we're a pig. Maybe I could do something back at the um, bathroom, though. Hmm. I see. They really up the effects for this game, huh? Let's see. Socket. My hair doesn't need drying. I could plug something in here. With the bath. Pull out the bath plug. Maybe the key's in here? He still left jumping in the puddles when I was little. Someone could slip on this wet floor. There's something here. I hear pig noises. I use a pig mask to go in. To make him slip. It's like, hello, I'm fellow pig. Yeah, that worked. Um, this looks kind of like downfall right here. Aesthetic wise, anyway. Let's not go in the room full of blood just yet. We'll go in this other room full of blood. Apparently. It looks like me. But I know it's not real. It's all just another dream, right? I think I'll leave it where it is. Hmm. John? Good riddance. I would have preferred Maybe if you went out a window. The gate in the field. Too bad it's firmly stuck in his hand. Just take the hand. It's a free handout. All missing our head. I guess because we're all kind of lost. John.
Hmm. Not as bad in here as I thought. It's empty. I promised I'd keep you safe. Mom? Beth? No, it is Mom. This is not real. None of it can be real. Oh, God. I'm assuming, based on the headless uh, picture, we have to give him all their heads. John is probably like the pig. Because, you know, we even called him a pig at the start, see? Yeah, there's ours. It's me. But I'm still here. Don't look like we're dead. I feel like we're gonna be attacked, though. As soon as we put the pig mask, John's gonna come at us. He's gonna, and then he's gonna, like, slip on the water. Yeah, see? Watch. Yeah! God, that's freaky. It's coming! Oh. Fuck it. Should be left out to dry. One with a fried pig. It was also, a, you know, it was a chimera. Like, it wasn't just John, although that was the primary thing. I guess because, in a way, John had become entangled within the family and overbearing. So while he was the sole, sole kind of cause, it was almost like the family's problem became a multi-head chimera, see? It's deep. It's symbolic. Anyway, that's one way to get a key. Ouch, my eyes. Hello? Oh. I'm on deep spiritual journey What's that might this? be a little grim. My eyes are kind of hurting because you're putting a random flashing effect on me. Dear Lorelei, sadly I couldn't be here tonight to welcome you. But please make yourself at home. The door is open. Last room upstairs is yours. Get some sleep. When you wake up, I'll be here. Painting. What a lonely seashore. That's odd. It feels wet. Because the door to another world. There's those candles. Should we touch any of the candles? These flames seem so fragile. Probably not. We never what happened. It almost makes this place look like home. It's burning nicely. Squeaky old stairs. I wonder if the Queen of Maggots is just a it's just a Lorelei, it's just very bitter how they died. Hmm. Last room upstairs. This look a little different. There's 
a strange symbol drawn on this door. Oof. It's a little quirky, and some of the things are kind of moving on their own, but you know, I actually probably would get a comfortable sleep here. Looks comfy enough, but it's gonna be hard to sleep with all these mannequins staring. Maybe I'll make my future bedroom like this. It's over. My whole life. All my hopes and dreams. Dead. I still remember how alive I felt this morning when I stood in front of that house. So out of breath from trying to get there on time. I was that new girl. Starting a new life. Sorry, the bus didn't stop. And then there was this horrible dog and- Excuses, excuses. I'm not interested. It's bad enough that we're short of staff when you haven't had your training yet. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm sorry Simple. for the inconvenience. I don't need your apologies. What I need is trained staff, not some... Oh, whatever. Hm. You need a uniform. Is it gonna be Can't red too? Around here dressed like this. Okay. Go upstairs. Maria's up in the laundry room. She'll help you find it. And examine everything. I hope I don't have to use it. It probably takes hours to hoover this place. Nobody's told me to hoover. And I really hope they don't. It looks shabby. Probably been used a lot. I can walk just fine on my own. Alma lives here. Now's not a good time. Just scouting the place out. You know, not doing my job. Didn't I tell you to get Whoops. your uniform? Upstairs? In the laundry? I'm just doing adventure game stuff, um, don't mind me. Sorry. I got a little lost. Now, do you have any secret loot I can use to help solve puzzles? I kind of like the pre rendered backgrounds to an extent. It's a little bit nostalgic, like it gives you like a little bit of soul. Irene, Joyce, corner. I can see another staircase from here. The name tag on this door is missing. Shouldn't I be doing something else? It's the bathroom door. Chlorine tablets. I these are used for cleaning. By the smell alone, I can tell it's powerful stuff. There we go. Add some loot right there. I can get to the nurse's station from here. Boy, I'm like really going off the bee bath. Whoops! I took the wrong turn again. Sorry. On my way now. You know, it's actually a little bit, not necessarily weird or refreshing. It's kind of it's a little kind of funny place in between that. Is our character's actually pretty nice. So you had Downfall and you had um, Cat Lady. Uh, and the Cat Lady's protag was, you know, it wasn't that she was mean, but she was very abrasive. Because, you know, of her 
situation and everything. Or this new character is very polite and chill for the most part, except for John, who deserves to go out the window. Hi, Alpha character. Are you Maria? Are you? Yeah. You don't need to freak out. I'm not that oh, dangerous yet. Hell. You nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, silly me. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, it's not your fault. I scare way too easily. I'm just silly like that. Anyway, you must be the new girl. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Laura. But everyone calls me Lorelei. That's pretty. Nice to meet you, Lorelei. And you. Quick, small talk. Have you been working here long, Maria? Well... Start off a big cliche. Three years soon. God. Three years in this crumbling old crap hole. It's that bad. <laughs> nah, it's alright. Depends who you work with, really. Like, you can't get on with everyone, can you? I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I've never had a job before. Really? I really want to do well. You know, I want to prove that I can do this. You'll be fine. I'll look after you. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. It's right there, on the shelf, waiting for you. The blue one? Yep, same as mine. I think You'll get a more next week. They've been ordered, but there's some kind of delay. Ugh, I don't know. Right. Let's get changed then. Okay, you go ahead. I'll meet you downstairs by the nurse's station. Oh, one more thing, Lorelei. Yes? You met Zoe, the senior carer, right? The one with the big bum and, like, really bad manners? I think so, yeah. Well, don't worry too much about her. She's got her knickers in a twist over many things, but I assure you, none of them is your fault. So... Just keep smiling, and she'll be alright eventually, yeah? Well, I'll try. Thanks for the heads up. Good. See you in a minute, Lorelei! Hmm. It's for hand washing mostly, I think. Can't wash off the blood. God, so we look so different about like a red color scheme. It's just not the same. Maybe the manager is gonna be like, did you wash your hands? And be like, yes we did. So we examined everything. She's like, alright. frolicking in the garden now. I was supposed to get back to the nurse's station in my... So Took your time, didn't you? Teleports behind you. Are you always late for everything? Don't say anything. Wait, no. I don't know. I'm panicking. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I should really hope so. This is a serious institution. There's no room here for slackers. Well, I guess I should introduce you now. Girls, we have a new carer with us today. 
Her name's Laura. Hi. You've already met Maria. That's Nisha. She's from India. Hello, Nisha. And I'm Zoe. I'm one of the senior carers, and I'm in charge in the absence of Mr. B, the manager and the owner of Pinecroft. He's the chap who did your job interview last week, Laura. Yes, I remember him. We must ensure the place is in top shape in case he pops in to check on us. The night staff have already handed over to us and they've gone home. You missed that, Laura. Because you were late. Okay. There are 15 elderly residents living here in Pinecroft. Most of them suffer from advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Some can be difficult. Some can be aggressive. So I'd like Laura to shadow one of you girls today. Nisha, would you mind showing Laura what to do? Can I do it? No, Maria. Nisha's worked here longer than you. And Mr. B asked me to go around with Laura yesterday. I promised him I would. But you don't mind, Nisha, do you? I don't mind. Thanks. You're a star, Nisha. Fine. Whatever. I'll work upstairs with Nisha then. You two will wash and dress the ladies on the ground floor. Oh, and that new lady who moved in last night into Beryl's old room. She's yours too. New really? lady? Yes. She's easy. Didn't even move so far, apparently. I'm sure you can manage. You coming, Nisha? Why did you choose to work with me? Did you no, know, it's probably a lie. Why did you choose to work with me? Oh, you know, I like to punish myself. No, really. That was nice what you did. No offense to Nisha. But I think I'll enjoy shadowing you more. Of course you will, because I'm the best. You might well be, but your days are numbered. Just wait and see. The new girl will climb right to the top. <laughs> Please do. Then you'll have to work with Zoe every day. Huh? Why? She likes to work with the best ones, so they do everything for her. Oh. Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? No. Mr. B doesn't give a rat's ass. But shush. That's between me and you, yeah? Well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. She is a bit of a bully, I told you earlier. But don't let it upset you. You did the right thing playing it low earlier. Just smile, say sorry, and go on about your business like nothing happened. Sound like a job. But we shouldn't really be talking about it here. So, what do we do now? We should start working, I guess. But first, let me show you a couple of things. This little desk is what we call our nurse's station. That's where we keep care files and stuff. This white door in the middle, that's kitchen. Don't bother talking to Al. He's a good chef, but he drinks too much. Everyone knows that. That's the main lounge. There's another one, but smaller. You probably went past it earlier. Yeah, I kind of explored the place and, you know, didn't fire do my objective. <laughs> I know. Boring. But you'll be That's getting like your fire training boring. every six months. Triangle of fire and all that. I promise you'll be sick of it. And what's that fancy panel for? That? Oh. It's the alarm bell panel. You see, there's a bell in every room. If someone needs help, they ring it. The display will show you the room number. You silence the bell here, and then you go see what's happening. But... No one ever uses it. Unless by accident. These poor old ladies can't even remember their own names most of the time, let alone something like this. Oh. Yeah. 
I think we'll start with Marjorie. She's a nice lady. Follow me. And if I follow you, I'm gonna go backwards. Hey, what's up? Just wandering around. Warning, the cook is on fire. Hopefully it's not literal later. Like, oh, the irony of having this side and I'm literally on fire. Why does this game have such a sense of humor? It says Dorothy on the door. Dorothy? But Maria wants to see the other lady first. I can come back here later. It says Marjorie on the door. Hello, my darling. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? And we have Lorelei with us today. She's a lovely young lady. She's helping us today. Good morning. Good morning. Dang, this is depressing. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. Lovely flowers. I bet you have a big loving family that thinks about you all the time. Oof, let's not get into that. As a matter of fact, it was Marjorie's 85th birthday yesterday. Everyone came, didn't they? Even your brother Derek from Australia. Why is this carpet so badly stained? Or okay, what now? I mean, I can already guess why it's stained. Okay, what now? Now, we get Marjorie washed and dressed. Please uh, take the two flannels from the sink. The white one is for the face. The brown one... Yep. You know. Now fill up the sink with hot water. She hasn't even got a toothbrush. Maybe she doesn't have teeth. She doesn't need one. She hasn't got teeth, Lorelei. Done. Marjorie, my darling, it's time for your wash. Give us a hand, would you? She can't walk on her own. Wonderful. Marjorie's clothes are kept in there. So still. Almost like a wax figure. I wonder what she's thinking right now. just need to get that nightie off. It felt... wet. Yeah. The night staff only put a small pad on her. Oh, they should have known better. Anyway, shall we? God, that's just... This is just realistically sad now. So still. Almost like a wax figure. I wonder what she's thinking right now. Marjorie, could you lift up your arms for us, please? All right. You're doing really well so far, Lorelei. But now comes the tricky part. Which is? We have to wash her. Now, some people struggle at first. I'll do it if it's too much too soon. But, you are welcome to try. It's up to you. I mean... Sure? I'll do it. Okay. Brilliant. I'll just have a little stretch on the bed. Oh no, you don't. 
and pretend it doesn't smell of wee. Am I doing it right, Maria? Yeah. You know, Marjorie used to be just like you and me. Young and pretty. I could tell by the photos around. Life. At 17, she fell in love with George. And they were married for 50 years. Can you imagine? 50. I couldn't even last two with my hubby. But George, bless his soul, was a kind and gentle man. He'd never hit his wife. God, it broke her heart when he died. But anyway, huh? she was just a little girl when the war started. And she saw it, you know? Bombs falling on London. City on fire. You seem to be doing a shared memory flashback. Dozed off. That's a comfy bed you've got here, Marjorie. Finished. I suppose we should find some clothes now? Yep. Yeah. Open the wardrobe and find something you like. Hmm. All red, huh? Maybe this one. <gasps> wow, Marjorie. We better hide all the men today, because in that dress, you're going to make them all fall in love. Wait, Lorelei. I'll help you with this. <gasps> Marjorie. You look absolutely beautiful. Let's take you to the lounge so everyone can admire this smashing outfit. All right, we've got one ready for the day. Now we can go to Dorothy. Dorothy. She's only next door to Marjorie where we've just been. Or we can try Alma. Her room's just past the nurse's station. Your call. Cool. Dorothy? Let's go see Dorothy next. Okie doke. Let's go. What's she thinking about, I wonder? What's up, Marjorie? So dark mm -hmm. in here. Oh, Dorothy likes her sleep. She could stay in bed all day. That's one thing we have in common, Dorothy and me. Because otherwise, she's a grumpy old hag. Especially first thing in the morning. Hello, Dorothy. Rise and shine. Come on now. I know you're awake. <laughs> now, that's birthday. very rude, sweetheart. Come on, lovely. Up we go. Current. I think Dorothy could use a bit of sun. Let the light in. Oh, you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Top of the morning to you, Dorothy. Top of the morning to you, Dorothy. She hates me right now. Job done. Alma's up next. I'll meet you outside her room. Okay.
I think they were to the right upstairs. Not that one. It's not labeled. Actually, can we go in there? Shouldn't I be doing something else? No, not yet. Irene. No. Gladys. That's the coat rack. Here they are. No. Alma. And we should have gone to you oh, first. In God's name, are you doing on the floor? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Come on the other side and give me a hand, Lorelai. Lucky lady, not a scratch on you. But, God, I'm gonna feel all that lifting in my back for a week. So thanks for that, Alma. We're young Let's be up, Pete. We'll be fine. <laughs> I like your attitude, girl. But now we have all this mess on the floor to clean up. What is it, anyway? There's a toilet paper. But I'll have a look. Looks like a letter. No, actually. They were upset about something. It's a very old letter. A whole bunch of them, actually. Sure. My darling wife. I am writing this letter in case I don't make it through tomorrow. We have just received orders to attack first thing in the morning. Mm, bad memories. I have a bad feeling about this. And I think, should the worst happen, you ought to know one thing about me I've never told you before. Ah, the rest has been torn off. You kept this with you all that time. And now you wipe your ass with it? Right. Yep. And now it's time for a coffee break. What? So soon? <laughs> what do you mean, soon? It's half past ten already. Really? Time flies when you're having fun. I'll put the kettle on. But before we go, can you take the dirty laundry upstairs and chuck it in the wash? Yeah. Uh, that's where the chlorine's gonna be for. the laundry bag by the nurse's station. Everyone around me except for John is so nice. So hopefully nothing happens to them. Be a lot of that's where the okay. May I combine this dirty with this? Milk. No, that's not gonna work. That's where the dirty laundry goes. You all right? Ye, yeah. Mr. B just called. He won't be coming in today. Oh, okay. He'd crashed his car this morning. Oh, the dog! Some dog chasing a cat ran out in front of it, and he drove into a lamppost to avoid running them over. Then I thought you mentioned a dog earlier. No. 
You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you? Oh, come on. What are the chances? I'm the one black dog in this city. Surely there's more than one black dog in this city. I didn't say it was black. Whoops! No? No. But it was, in fact. Mr. B mentioned that for some reason. And you knew. Interesting. So what? I saw a black dog. It barked and growled at me. I found a way around, but it made me late. End of story. We'll see. I mean, I still think it drew. We'll see? What do you mean? Hmm. Appeal to her or confront her? I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. But Laura, I'm just trying to teach you some respect. Thank you, Sensei. <laughs> You feel like I lack respect. I'll try harder now. Having this job is important to me. I will do anything to keep it. In that case, your make is all a cup of tea. Oh, Maria's already on it. Go on then. Or I'll be down shortly. Oh. I'd ask her to put plenty of milk in it. She always forgets. Soluble cleaning tablets. Oh god, stuff. can I put that in her tea? Oh no. Alright. The red mug is yours. Mmm, it smells lovely. Oh, I met Zoe upstairs. She asked for a cup of tea as well. Yeah, I made it. I always make it. The yellow mug is Zoe's. Did you put plenty of milk in? Yes. Looks almost black to me. Ugh, I don't know. I don't drink tea. You know... We don't want to piss her off more, so... You go ahead. I'll get more milk from the kitchen and join you in a minute. Oh, you're a gem. Thanks! Wait, what about Nisha? Oh, Nisha drinks water. She's alright. Tea's kind of like water. Hold up. Let me have a cup of tea. I feel like I've re No the coffee wrapper. Dark as a moonless midnight. Damn fine coffee. I'll just leave it here for Zoe. Oh my god. Milk. Laxative. There we go. Wait a second. What's this? No, I couldn't. Could I? Take it. You're gonna burn, all right. No one ever has to know. So all you all out there watching, you keep quiet. Enjoy your cuppa, bitch. Now let him roll him out. Ugh. I'll just leave it here for Zoe. This tea should give Zoe the shits of a lifetime. Hey, sup? Ah, sunshine! 
Yes. Hey, praise the sun. Dang it, you did it. What? I was about to say it. It's from a... Oh, never mind. You preempted me. Damn you, game. Do you want one? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Hey, what kind of cigarette is this? It makes my head spin. Is this your first one? Oh, I get it. Yep. Then that's normal, mate. So, why do you want to work here of all places? Well, I couldn't afford to go to college, so that kind of limits my choices. But I can't stay at home anymore either. The sooner I move out, the better. And for that, I need money. Oh, so you can, like, rent a place. New York. Seems like she wanted to go. I'm thinking more of a... I'm just trying to, like, keep in line with what you might be wanting to do. What? I kind of hoped you'd stay. The thing is... I really want to get as far away from my stepdad as possible. He's just a big bag of shite. Has he... I'd never let him. God, I'd rather die. It's technically true. Uh, but you know, it'll be okay. You'll stand on your own two feet and none of that will matter. And in the meantime, if you need a friend, I suppose you've got plenty of friends already. Well, there's Zach who lives next door. He's a geek, all right. But he's kind of cool. He waited for me this morning just to give me an umbrella. Zach? Is he American? Nah, he just likes to be called Zach for some reason. You know, I will go out with him. If he ever asks, of course. He seems like a nice enough guy. He almost did today. But he chickened out at the last moment, I think. Sounds like a decent bloke. Those overconfident macho types are not worth your time. Trust me. Just realized. He's pretty much the only normal person I know. I've got too much shit at home to have friends. Even my best mate Carrie never comes over anymore. Oh, with Joel on the round. It's fine though. I don't blame her. You should try internet. It's what I do. I'm in this group and we talk about kids mostly. I can't go on the internet. My mum won't pay for the Wi Fi. Yowch. Wait. Did you say you got kids? Yeah, I got two boys. I was only 17 when I had Kieran. And Sam, only two years later. You married then? No. <laughs> Me and you. We should be friends. I don't see why not. I agree. Unless... <laughs> Unless you'd rather be friends with Zoe. Oh, I think Zoe's making friends with the toilet right now. No way that's ever gonna happen. I bumped into her upstairs earlier and she was just being horrible again. I mean... What is her fucking problem? Oh, she's just insecure. I told you. Well, I won't let her bully me. She'll give it up soon. <laughs> Once you get to know her. She ain't so bad. <laughs> You'll see. We should probably get back now. 
It's time to see that new lady. Okay. I'll meet you outside her room. It's upstairs. What's her name? Oh, um... Greta, I think. Greta. Yeah, I remember someone's mentioned she was an artist. And she's got some creepy-ass paintings in her room. But she's new, so she hasn't got a name tag yet. Just look ah. for the door with no name tag on it. Spray bottle. It must have been used for spraying plants and flowers. Cozy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll just ignore we ever saw that. Okay. Upstairs. Door with no name tag. I wonder if she ever got her coffee. Hmm. So before we go in there... Hmm. She's not here yet. Maybe she's in the laundry room still? Let's double check. Staff toilet. <sighs> So this is the staff toilet. Good to know. Go away. Oh no, she's oh. in here. Okay. Sorry. You all right in there? Oh, sort of. Just to let you know, we've got everything under control. So take as long as you need in there. The kitchen's on fire. What? Just kidding. Will you stop doing that? Nope. Okay, okay. I thought maybe you fainted. <laughs> really, game? Go away. Oh, okay. Sorry. Our work is done. Huh. Looks like a certain Russian artist. Are you okay, Greta? Are you... Greta? The queen? Get it out! I must get it out! Oh I like we should be doing something more in this. What the? That's how our first day of work. Well, this is it. Rest in peace, my love. Come on, let's go, girls. Laura, you stay. Look, in a place like this, you see people die. Sometimes a year goes by and they're all fine. And then, you suddenly get three dead in one week. You never really get used to it, but there's something you have to accept if you want to work here. And most of all, don't blame yourself. It was Greta's time to go. It's not a terrible That's person, honestly. What it is. I don't regret using the laxative though. You're gonna be all right, mate. Just because it was chaotic and fun. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Let's go then. 
There's still lots to do. What the? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I think I need the loot. It's like a touching moment ruined by a, a little bit of a prank. You sure you'll be okay? Yeah. I'll be fine. Let's just keep busy. What's next to do? Oh, there's like a million things. But first... Do you play chess? You get to flash back to that scene. you see the lightning? It's gonna rain in a minute. Well, that's just bloody fantastic, isn't it? And another one. Oh, come on. My back is aching. I just want to go home now. Storm is coming. Is there anything left to do? It's very symbolic. Nah. They're all in bed now. We'll just hang around the nurse's station trying to look busy and wait for the night staff. Let's go then. It's getting chilly out here. Glad to see the game still has a little bit of a sense of humor in between all the bleakness. Cozy. Go this way. Do you hear that? What? No. Exactly. Nice and quiet. At last. Oh, bloody hell. That's the alarm. Why did I say that? What is it? It's the bell alarm. Someone just pressed it by mistake. I don't think, think so. It's not that type of game. Me? Yeah. Just give it a whack. It'll silence it. The sound it makes is really annoying. But... Zoe will go mental if I break it. Which room is it? It says 11. Room 11. Why well, are you quiet? Room 11? There's no room 11? Yeah, why? Whose room is it? Are you sure it's 11? Well, yes, absolutely. Come on. Who lives in that room? Greta. Oh, bloody hell. The dead lady. Shit. 
shit. Are these maggots? Ugh. Oh, I hate maggots. Why'd they be in the door? Didn't they remove the body? We still need to get in there and switch the bell off. Where's Zoe? She's still in the toilet. Must have a stomach bug or something. I don't know. Why is Greta's body still there anyway? Oh, they'll take it later tonight. Right. Then... It's a little too fast for maggots. Find a way to get rid of these... things. I need to get rid... Spray bottle. There's no water in the bottle. We need some water in the bottle. Are you still in here? You all right in there? Oh, sort of. Yep. Well, there'd be water either in the laundry room or the kitchen. Look at that, first person water filling. There. The a smell mega killer. Makes my eyes sting. So this is all still our first day at work then. They didn't like that, did they? Horrible little buggers. Yeah. So, we're going in? No, no, no. You know me, I get scared of my own shadow. Maria, I don't want to do this on my own. There's no way I'm going in there. Sorry, Lorelei. Fine. Dang it, that's what I get for being a main I'll character. Turn off the bell. But you owe me. What are we gonna see? Okay. It's just a body. Joke's on you. No need to be scared. Hey! Turn that buzzer off and we'll let you out! Really? It's just the light. But where's the bloody button that turns it off? Then we can just... What a storm. After such a beautiful sunny day. And there's a wire we can disconnect out here? It's proper raining now. <sighs> Where is that bloody... Oh no, it's kept here behind us. We have a very difficult life. But how did she manage to grab the spell? We sure she's dead? This might be what she meant, like she talked to a ghost. Don't make the same mistake that I did. 
And then we're gonna wake up. Queen of Magus is gonna be there. Why are you all laughing? <laughs> got you! <laughs> I got it all on my phone! Oh, mate, you should have seen your face! What? What? <laughs> you nearly shat yourself. <laughs> Didn't she, Nisha? Oh, my God. <laughs> Should we be making pranks on dead bodies? This was a prank. <laughs> well, what do you think it was? Dead people don't ring their bells, do they? But we rang the bells, silly. Not Greta. <laughs> you really believed it was her, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> That was precious. Oh, that's who, why would I say this? You said you scare easily, and then you pull off something like this. <laughs> like I'm gonna be scared of one dead lady. I've seen a hundred of them. They don't bother me no more. But she... Oh, for God's sake, it's just a body. It's not like it's gonna grab you and eat your brains or something. Yeah. So it... didn't move? Of course it didn't. It's just lying there like a sack of potatoes. Uh, I kinda wanna be assertive. But you know. I'm not sure it's gonna change her towards me or not. Let's see this one. You filmed me? <laughs> yeah, so? You can't do that. <laughs> Look, we always do that to new staff. <laughs> it's funny. Get over it. What do you sound like? Sound like a valley girl kind of accent. You knew about this too, Nisha? Yes, of course. I ring the bell. Laura, very scared. <laughs> this wasn't funny, Maria. I thought we were friends. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. It was just a joke, for fuck's sake! I wonder if people who'd work in morgues ever do some weird hazing ritual I'm like so that. I'm sorry, Mr. B. I know. I've not been feeling too well today. There's something wrong with my tummy. I just hope it's not a bug. But the girls took care of everything. I'm really proud of them. So, except for Greta, sadly passing away. Well, everything's been hunky-dory. Oh, and that new girl, Laura. Or is it Laura Loy? Yeah. She's done all right. Still a little rough around the edges. But I think we could make a good carer out of her. No, oh, no. It's raining. Cheers for the umbrella, Zach. Oh, that's right. I told you. Thoughtful and practical. And here I am now. <laughs> 